You are now listening to Black Sheep Conversations. Oh, oh that sounds interesting. Black Sheep Conversations. <laughs> but you were still cheating if you took them both back. I didn't take them back. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> You probably don't know it, bro. It's gonna, it's gonna shock them, guys. Watch this. It's gonna shock them right here. I actually listen to Frank Sinatra. I love hood movies, man. I don't make a lot of good hood movies no more, which is, I guess, is kind of good and bad. So that's when I jumped off the balcony, like on the side in the dark, so nobody saw me fall over there except for my homegirl. Eva, you went through the buck of life. I got chicken legs. Oh, that's my song called Chicken Legs. I got chicken legs. All right, bro, stop, stop, stop. Fever. Get out of here, bro. You don't even like chicken like that. Like a You're a vegetarian, beaver, right? Beaver, beaver, beaver. Oh, he don't even know. No, no, I'm not vegetarian. Not not yet. That ain't the point, bro. That ain't the point, man. How you doing, man? At the church. We just left church. So how, how you doing at the church? I'm Feel blessed, good? man. I'm good. You know, today I, I have the struggle with my focus. For real? Yeah. I, I saw was, you going to sleep in there. You right. I'm I wasn't going to sleep, man. <laughs> I was just playing. I was just struggling with my focus. You know, I was, um, I guess I wasn't mentally prepared, even though I thought I was, but I had to keep praying and asking God to continue, you know, just to focus my mind on him and stay on him. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. What about you? I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, got to go to work in a little bit. But, you know, had to put in the podcast, yo. Got to go to work to make my money, bro. Appreciate that, dog. Nah, bro, I ain't shaking your hand for that, dog. That's my money. Oh, shoot. This man always assaulting me. Every time y'all hit me, like, just say, oh, oh, hey, dang, see? He done hit me upside the head. I want to file on um, for harassment. <laughs> 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 but nah, man, I'm, I'm good, man. You know, got to go get this, get to this money, man. Um, I'm, I'm really glad I woke up today and got to go to church, so. I'm glad you came too, man. Heard some great things, man. Some confirmations. But Oh, um, yeah. You know? It was a good service, man. It was a good word all around, for real. Great day, great day. Heck yeah, boy. So, got a little question. Well, it's not even a little question. It's probably going to turn to, like, a long conversation. But That's anyway. what we're here for, my guy. Heck yeah, boy. So, I got to talk to you about dating, my man. I, I want to hear your inputs. Not, not, not just your inputs, just things you done went through. Tell me about... A divine conversation that I'm just playing. Tell me about a time. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> tell me about a time, oh man. Oh my god. Tell me a time you don't know. Uh, just tell me about some times, man. Sometimes that were weird. Maybe sometimes they were great, embarrassing, whatever. On dates, man. Like some stuff you went through, man. Okay, so the first date I went on was with this girl. I um went to high school with. We were both in the same grade. Mm-hmm. And her name was Latresa. Okay. Um. It's a nice name. If you listen to Latresa, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? She's a cool person. Well, it just wasn't meant self. to be. It wasn't meant to be for us to be together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, you know, it was high school. You know, we found out we both liked each other somehow. And it was like, hey, let's date. And so one of the dates we went out on, which was the first and last date we went out on, because the relationship, it didn't last long at all. It only lasted, I think, maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a month at the most. I doubt it. but Typical high school, elementary relationship. Yeah, so, but we went to the movies. Uh, I don't even remember what movie we went to go see, but we went to the movies, and, like, I didn't have a car at the time, so, like, of course, we had to get dropped off. Yeah. And uh, after the movies, we decided, that, you know, we want to go to the mall, so we didn't have a car, so we had to, like, just, we ran across the street. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it was so funny, bro, because I remember now, as we running across the street, like, her shoe comes off. And like she's like, oh shoot, I gotta get my shoes. She wow. runs back. Bro, don't tell me a car was coming, bro. Uh, no, nah, I don't think it was. Okay. It was I mean, it was car. Like, did you save her shoe? Did you be a gentleman and save her shoe for her? I wasn't a gentleman, man. Oh, okay. she got her own shoe. Oh, okay. okay. We were kind of in the street at the same time, and like, it was just crazy, bro. It it just turned it turned from like we bay to every man for himself. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I didn't even. It happened so fast, man. The shoe came off, and she ran and got it. She ran it. She went and ran and got it back, and yeah. and we just kept going, man. You know, but it was fun, man. Like it was a simple day, one too complex. You know what I'm saying? Like we just went to the movies, went to the mall, walked around, and that was it. And like a few days, maybe like a week or two later, we broke up. 
But we broke up. The way we broke up was we didn't like. It wasn't like a oh, hey, let's talk. It wasn't like that. It was like um yeah. We we both went to the same. You know, of course, we were in the same grade, and we had mutual friends. But every time we saw each other at school, like we we would never talk um to each other. Mm. Um, you just know it's over when, when you and see it, it wasn't. I think we were both just. I know I was shy. I was really shy. So, like, and I was still rapping my. This is the first time I had a girlfriend that I could like, you know, see every day or yeah, try to see every day. Um, so I wasn't used to that. So I guess you know, I was kind of like shy and afraid, and I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to operate within the confines of a relationship because I'm in high school. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I didn't, I didn't go out of my way, go out of my way to talk to her, and she didn't really go out of her way to talk to me. You know, from what I remember, that's how it was. And then I had texted her one day, like after school, and you know, I'm like, "Hey, what happened with us?" You know, she was like, "I think we died." And I'm like, mm. "Oh, okay. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but you know, I guess it's just time to move on." And that's what we did. Dang, man. That's. Crazy. But hey, man! Shout out to Latrice. You're a really great person. She's doing really good in life right now. I think she graduated. Uh, I can't remember what college she went to. I think it was up in Atlanta or somewhere. But um, <laughs> she's a real, she's a real dope person. She's real cool, real yeah, cool yeah. people. So yeah. Shout out to you, Latrice. Yeah, man. I saw her the other day, man. Um, well, it wasn't the other day, but it was like a week ago. Which actually was about a week ago. Week ago. Okay, we ain't gonna sing that song. My mm. bad. My bad. But yeah. Yeah, she's pretty cool, man. I remember um, drama, drama class, Mr. Ipina. Shout out to Mr. Ipina. Yeah, Mr. Ipina's a pretty cool teacher. Okay, that's what's up, though, man. Um, any other situations? Any other dates? I'm going to let you go. Oh, oh we're going like, to gonna trade date for date? Blow I for mean, blow? I didn't want to take up the whole time, you know. Oh, shoot, man. I mean, I got a lot more, it's but what? I'm going to let you go ahead and set your piece. That's what every my G fan. Um... Let's see. Well, I had, I had one on this date one time, and <laughs> I was okay. Let me put this out there first. Um, this is going this is going to relate into the story. Um, it's just okay. I was on this date one time when I think I what was the girl name. I think her name was Diamond. Was it Diamond? Yeah, it was a date I went on with Diamond. There's other dates too I can tell you about. This is this is kind of going to be a little short story, but it was like a confidence situation, I guess, with me. So uh, me and her had been talking for a while. And I ain't, I don't think I, I didn't have my car at the time, but it was back in high school. I think I was a senior. She was a, she was a junior. Yeah, I was a senior. She was a junior. So um, we had went out to CC's Pizza to go grub. So we're sitting in there, you know what I'm saying, just chilling. It was around the time when I think I was trying to, I was working on weight loss. <clears throat> I was like coming off weight a little bit and I was trying to like build, build some figure, trying to build some muscle. So, like, I would kind of, like, compare myself to other guys who might have been more fit, you know, more in shape. So, like, she she kind of, like, killed my confidence a little bit one day. And, like, it, I, ain't gonna, I don't know. It kind of made me want to work out harder. But me and her were, like, eating, just chilling and whatever. And you know, she kept, like, looking to the side, like, away. Like, it was, like, it was this guy. It was, like, this swole. It was a white guy, young white guy. And he was, like, bro had biceps, like, bro. Like he wasn't he wasn't even really flexing. Like this man was just getting his drink at the vending at the vending machine, like at the fountain. And like you saw this man like bicep, like a big ball was in his arm. Like he was just flexing over there, lifting weights or something. Dang. And I'm like, dang, I'm trying to get that cut. Like that dude was swole. Like that's what I'm saying in my head. And then like I realized like, wait, she looking at this dude. And oh <laughs> no. And uh, like this is all why we're like uh cause we had at CC's it's a buffet, but you also can order have a pizza made for you and deliver. Yep. So we was like we had ate a little food and we were just waiting for the pizza. Um so that was around the time we was waiting when we was like talking and looking around. And that's how we end up seeing both of us end up seeing the same guy. And she saw him and she was like, Dang, babe, he bigger than you. Like and I was like, yeah, I, I know. I can see that. Those are words you never want to hear from your <laughs> girl mouth, man. Oh. Those words can mean so many things. <laughs> and, he, and I was like, yeah, yeah. He like he do. Uh, he curls a lot. You know, <laughs> Cause I was like, okay, that's cool to know. I mean, yeah, no, I noticed his arms are bigger than mine. Thank you. That's what I'm saying in my head. Like, I, I need that confirmation. But all right. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, I was, like, still – I came from a time of being, like, very heavyweight. So, like, my confidence – I was always trying to, like, build my confidence. So, sometimes I would struggle with it when people would say things like that. Like, I mean, it, it was real. It was the truth. But it's, like, when somebody, like, threw facts, 
facts that were like uh, facts on a, um, of another person over me, it, I guess it would bother me. Like, oh, he looks better in that. Or, hey, if you lose weight, maybe you can look like him or you can wear that shirt like he's wearing. You probably can't wear it now because you got to get rid of your belly. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Stuff like that would happen with my girlfriend. Like, when we'll we be on dates, she'll, I don't know. I think she just, I think it goes into one of those things where it's like sometimes your partner may not be that comfortable with you. So I went through that on dates with her sometimes. She was insensitive to your feelings, really, <laughs> yeah. bro. Cause... Slick, though, she was insensitive to her own feelings, too. Because oh. she used to down herself. So I, over time, that's that's what kind of led to me breaking up with her. Because she like used to down herself. And she was always negative about stuff. So y'all was on the date at, so. at CC's, and that's when she told you. About like, that, that guy, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I was just saying, like, it happened other times, too. My, it's, it kind of happened other times, too. Like, she'll see something else and compare me to another guy or something like that. So, yeah. Um there's other dates too, but I'm gonna let you go on yours, my man. You ain't gotta. You, What's another one you got? It ain't gotta be a trade for a trade, man. No, you gotta be a trade. Okay, well, shoot, I'll bust out another one, man. Um, like I said, what's, we the, what's, the, what's the first general. date you went out on? The very my very first date. I, matter of fact, I remember talking to you about it. It was a it was a Bible study. My very first date was a it was like a Bible study because it was this girl. Me and her had been talking over the phone. Like we met, I met her through one of my homies. Um, it was his cousin, his little cousin. And he was like, hey, man, you can talk to my cuz, man. Like, I think she like you, you know what I'm saying? Because she heard me talking on the phone and she heard your voice. So she was like, you sound cute. She want to talk to you. So I was like, all right, man, I'll talk to you cuz. And, yeah, me and her had started talking. It was like a distant relationship because we were young. We couldn't, like, I think we was like eighth grade. Yeah, we was like eighth grade, so I couldn't really, like, go and see her. I don't got no car. I'm a kid. My mom ain't gonna take me to go see some girl I like. That's crazy. Yeah. So some moms would though. Some real. would like them, and like we found out later on that our parents knew each other and like grew up together. So it's like, eventually when we got, I mean that's that's more to the story. But eventually like, when we got older, her um like her aunt would bring her to come see me, bring her to see me because her aunt knew like her aunt grew up with my mom. So it was like we like fam like, or whatever. And I didn't even know that me and her I actually liked her when I was little, and we actually had grew up together. And I didn't I didn't realize until like. My mom told me she was like, "Yeah, I used to play with her. You don't remember? Like y'all was friends when y'all was little." And I was like, "For real?" And she was like, "Yeah." So she was like, "It actually makes sense why y'all probably really like each other now in the future." Like, how old were you when you went out on uh, to the Bible study date? Like, I don't know. Like I said, I was in like eighth grade. But, oh, um, so you were probably what, like twelve, thirteen? Maybe, probably, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. fourteen. Yeah, somewhere around there. So yeah, yeah. So I actually. Had been, I actually knew her previously from childhood. I just didn't remember. I just didn't know it, and I guess that's what struck likeness in 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 between us. And we didn't even. It was unconscious. We didn't know that we already met each other in the past. So yeah, uh, I went where her aunt came and picked me up from uh, my best friend Errol's house. Shout out to my boy. Um, but her, her um her aunt came and picked me up from there, and we went to a Bible study. Um, it was like off in the in this neighborhood, like. I don't know, it was like this little small neighborhood, like kind of dug off in the city. We went there, sat, you know what I'm saying, I was nervous, bro, because she was very pretty, light skin, long hair, you know, I had, you know, I was nervous, bro, and she like had a nice small frame, and I'm like, I was kind of chunky, so I'm like, man, it's our first time seeing me, I'm this chunky kid. Well, you you like, <laughs> like, bro, I'm out of my league, man, I got a little shorty doo-wop, she banging, and I'm For like, real. I'm like, chunky, you a scrub, bro, you was a scrub at yeah, the time. Man. I was a scrub, man. Yeah. But she still, she, she still didn't care. She thought I was cute, man. She was like, oh, I think you, she was like, oh, yeah, I think you cute. hurt me. She was happy to see still me. Still a scrub, bro. <laughs> man, whatever, but, <laughs> but she was still happy to see me, man. Like she, she looked past like my looks and she was like more focused on like my, my heart. And she was like happy because from a conversation we had and how I respected her and talked to her, she liked it, that part about me. She didn't care about like the fact that I was a little husky or whatever. Like one of her friends was like kind of joking, like, oh girl, he fat, he fat. And she was like, I don't care about all that. Like, I like him. That's real, bro. So That's real. You know what I'm saying? So she was real. She stayed true to she stayed true to her heart from the times we was on the phone talking to when we actually met and got went on our date, Bible study date. You know, so you the only dude I yeah. know that went on a date at Bible study, bro. Bible study. <laughs> you might be the dude, only dude I know or the only dude ever to do that. I don't know, man. Probably. I don't know. I'm I'm versus somebody nothing. So I mean like what did what y'all y'all just that was it? You just went to Bible study? I went there. You um, went home? I was like the only boy there because it was like all older women like people's aunties and stuff like that and other women there and I was the only boy and it was like and other like younger girls were there but there were like no boys so I was the only boy um but yeah like after the Bible study was, after the Bible study was over nothing against women but you know women like to sit around and gossip and talk so 
they were like the, after Bob said it was over, the women just started talking about life and just 